What's the easiest way to find tenants in the Philippines for rental properties? Uh, I'll give you a few examples. We use Airbnb. Airbnb normally picks up the people who want to stop a couple of days, a couple of weeks, maximum about a month. We had a few inquiries, we're talking three months, etc. Um, but the problem is a lot of the expectations of internet is less than to be desired. Um, they want super fast internet, but you won't get it where we are, provincial. Um, and if I had 12 to 20 rentals, I would put it in. Um, the reason being for the, the internet speed that people want would cost me about 6,000 pesos. Um, which is fine if somebody's long term because they can quite happily pick up the bill themselves. Um, but we're we're two apartments with another one now being converted. Uh, so I'll have three in the next four months uh, rented out. Uh, so Airbnb is quite good for the short term because you get premium rents on those. Um, OLX, CB classifiers, those sort of things, you'll pick up your people want six, 12 months rents. Um, why do I like Airbnb? Airbnb has a lot of people with referrals. At the same time, the downside is people can be a bit fussy. Um, we haven't had any complaints ourselves, but I know, um, talking to a friend of mine, he's had issues with some of the people who've stayed. Um, not not for the Philippines, but for Spain. But I'll be honest with you, some of the people in Spain are... Um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. The, the reality is, though, you need to spread around. Because although we've got somebody in one of our apartments for two or three months at the minute, and the other apartment was rented out for a month, then they left then somebody moved in for two three days so some people have come direct other people have then come in off airbnb and then the apartments become available again you need to spread yourself around now would i let an agent do it well i would let an agent do it if i knew the agent i wouldn't let anybody do it that i didn't know um i'm a bit fussy like that but I don't want anybody disappearing with somebody else's money, which if they're an, a rogue agent, a rogue agent, a, a rogue, yeah, a rogue agent, <laughs> they may do. Um, because they may say, oh, here it is, um, give us the rent, give us this, and then disappear. And then the tenant's going, oh, well, you know, I've already paid for three months. You're like, well, you didn't pay me. So, yeah, you've got to be careful sometimes. But OLX, CBU classifiers, you'll pick your long-term guys up. Go on the forums as well, but our, the problem with forums is people are like this, always have an opinion on everything. Um, and I'm not talking about my personal experience because I haven't actually rented any of my stuff out on the forums, but I know other people that have and they just like, well, I don't advertise there anymore because it's just not worth the hassle. Because you get everybody going, well, you can do it cheaper. I, I know somebody does it cheaper and uh, blah, blah, blah. And then when you look into it, Yes, it's cheaper because it doesn't have internet, electric, air conditioning or anything else. It's just a bare apartment. Um, so, so yeah, there's those things. Uh, but a lot, of the, a lot of the sale of apartments, you know, on the renting outside is about personality. Um, people get on with my in-laws. So from that point of view, not one person has said, we're not coming back. In fact, everybody says, we'll come back. And the other thing is, if you do have no feedback or want feedback, just ask people. Because there's always something that's niggling. You know, um, for some reason, there were some cups missing in some bits and pieces recently. So I asked the person who went, was there anything that we could have done better, etc.? And said, oh, yeah, there was this and this missing. And I'm like, well, they should have been there. Where? So then I'm chasing up with my relative. Where are they? And then, lo and behold, we put them back in. Um, because things like this happen in the Philippines. If you're not there, people do move things around. So you need to keep engaging with your tenants and also the people that are managing it for you. Because you do have to micromanage a little bit.
Um, you've got to look at it. It is your business. That's it. Um, because if you don't think, oh, well, it's not important, guess how everybody else thinks about it? It's not important. Tenants think you don't treat us very well. And the people managing it going, well, he doesn't really bother if we do it properly or not. And they'll do less and less over a period of time. So you have to manage it properly. And it's not like you're there every day. It's just like a couple of emails. How's it going? Oh, you know, oh, we went to a resort yesterday. Oh, did you know you could do this? This is nearby. Oh, speak to, speak to such and such and they could organize diving if you want to go diving. Just keeping that bit of information going, keeping people interested, letting them know there's stuff around them that they may not find anywhere else. You know, they won't find it in a brochure. You have to be local to know this stuff goes on. So those are the areas I would normally do. OLX, um, Sibu Classifieds, Airbnb, and another important one is Facebook. Um, LinkedIn also works quite well because people want to escape sometimes. So in LinkedIn, it's surprising how many people are in your network in LinkedIn, but every now and again, somebody will go, oh, so you're, you've got, I didn't know you did rentals or whatever. And you find random people. But the thing with getting people within your own network already is you already have a connection with them. Um, as such, less likely to have any problem tenants, etc., etc. Um, we haven't had a problem tenant for a while, but please, if you are one, don't drop by my place. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Yeah.